Google what is compound interest and so many answers come up. Many hype the magic of how compound interest earns you lots of money. Compound interest isn't magic, but it can be a difficult concept to get. Well, we're going to add to the list of answers using our favorite treat, M&Ms. In this video, we'll first talk about how compound interest can work for you. Then we'll explain how compound interest can work against you. We'll skip the fancy formula in favor of this simple definition. Compound interest is the interest made on a principal amount of money plus the interest earned to date. A popular explanation is interest on interest. So compound interest is not the same as simple interest, which is interest made only from the principal. You can earn compound interest through savings accounts, certificates of deposit, and even checking accounts. But compound interest really adds up when you invest money in the stock market. In the market, you're technically earning returns, not interest, but the concept is essentially the same. This includes popular retirement accounts like 401ks, IRAs, and Roth IRAs. If you invest a fixed amount of money and don't touch it, the account balance will still grow over time. But to really benefit from compound interest, you need to keep putting money in. Meet our editor, Caitlin. Caitlin initially saved 100 M&Ms in her M&M account that has historically earned 10% interest. Let's assume for now that interest rates stay the same and interest is added to the account at the end of the year. After the first year, Caitlin will have 10 more M&Ms, bringing her total to 110. After the second year, Caitlin will earn 11 M&Ms, which is 10% of 110. Her new total, 121 M&Ms. After 10 years, Caitlin's total will be about 259 M&Ms, more than double her original M&Ms. Just so you know, it's really hard to cut up M&Ms, so we're rounding here. Now, what if Caitlin added one M&M every month? After the first year, her total will be 122 M&Ms. After 10 years, she'll have 451 M&Ms. Now imagine if Caitlin starts with 10,000 M&Ms and contributes 100 M&Ms each month. At the end of 10 years, she'll have almost 45,000 M&Ms, of which 22,000 she contributed. That's more than 100% profit and a really, really big sugar high. That's not the whole story though. Compound interest can really hurt you when you borrow money, especially with credit card debt. It's easy to use a credit card like it's an endless checking account or to fill the earnings gap after a job loss. But interest rates for credit cards can easily exceed 20% and it's compounded. Let's assume Caitlin owes her credit card company 100 M&Ms and the card's interest rate is 20%. If Caitlin pays back 10 M&Ms each month, she'll end up paying an extra nine M&Ms before paying off the card. That may not seem like a lot, but think about it. The average credit card balance is more than $6,000, and Americans paid more than $120 billion in interest and fees in 2019. That's good for the credit card companies, but not so good for you. We get it, you don't have unlimited money, and it's easy for one unexpected expense to suddenly turn into a big credit card balance. Because of compounding, the money you charge to a credit card today can result in serious debt over time. But remember, if you save even a little money every month, compound interest can pay off in a big way. 